Welcome back, folks, to more Let's Play Swords and Saddles 5 Redux, what possibly could be the final episode. Um, most because we're getting to the end of Act 4, and I'm not going to spoil anything that happens in Act 5, but it is very short in comparison to the previous four acts. So, in the last episode, we were making it through the Lost Cathedral. Lost Cathedral. So the Chapel of Icons. We've got a couple of levels to go, and then we can face uh, Salt and Zerad, and uh, kick his ass, hopefully. So we have Mad Dog Mohawk here. He's he's awesome. We all hope hopefully we've gotten used to Mad Dog Mohawk by now. And bloody hell is luck of finding stairs quickly. Alright, well there you go. Right, level 17. Oh, we're getting dragons now! Now we're getting into it. We're fighting bleeding dragons now. Dragons. Let's see what we can find here. The, you find a note that reads, I owe you one hamburger. Sign a little fat. Damn it! I thought I already killed him. I already killed the bloody git. Oh, great. Well, it's not just one bull, I guess. And we found this pretty easily. Lovely. Moving on. Moving on. Level 17. Or level 18, sorry. Push this lever here. Ooh, nice. Bronze, a runestone avatar of vampirism. Pretty good. And a little bit of money. That's also pretty good. Ooh. So happy I've bought that old Trotter's key. So happy I bought that ages ago, because it's really helped me out, essentially. And uh, not bothered with that. Let's push this lever. Hopefully it's not going to kick my up. Bloody hell! <laughs> yep, well, okay, I'll just move on then. Hein, hein, we're seriously just moving on to try and find the final area we need. Ooh, and get treasure for it. A crag hack shield, but 10,000 gold. Very nice. Alright, so there's the bull again. Lovely. Anything here that I want? Not really. I mean, there's dragons here. Everyone wants dragons. Oh. Oh, that was easy. There you go. I guess we will just move on then. Goodbye. Alright. There he is. There he is. Thou seek to destroy the Emperor, but knowest thou this. Antares is but a vessel through the, which the malevolence shall enter this world. We destroyed Tolotia. We shall destroy Tritonia. Thou canst not stop the approaching darkness. <laughs> Solemn Zerad, demonic lieutenant of the malevolence. Let's go. Solemn Zerad, bring it. Jesus Christ, you are weak as hell. That armor is dreadful. Wow! <laughs> Solemn Zerad, you were awful. Man. Okay, this could be a lot shorter than I thought. Solemn Zerad, what was that? That was terrible. God. I'd have taken on Elix, the Harpy Queen, over you. Jeez. There you go, the fourth grail piece is ours. We have four, he kills us the last one. You found the fourth grail piece. Act four complete. The Lost Cathedral has been conquered. Gladiator, return to the service to continue thy quest. Act five, the resurrection. Chapter one, Antares rises. Finding the fourth piece of the grail amongst the embers of Solemn Zerad, you tremble. Partially in anticipation and partially in fear. Dragons, liches, demons, all have fallen before you. Antares, the legendary emperor and the lord of the dread Imperium, remains an enemy vastly more powerful than any you've faced. It will take every fibre of your being to kick his sorry ass. That's essentially what it was saying, just saying on that one. Right, let's go to our inventory and uh, use our runestone crux we've got. Very nice indeed. Man, we got another avatar of poison. What is our poison resistance at this point? 104%! Well, okay, no more getting poison then. That's pretty nice. And the game has crashed! Well, <laughs> it's not like I wasn't expecting that, but yep, the game has crashed. The game has crashed! So, we will be right back after no messages. Because, well, I don't get money from YouTube. They screwed me over years back. So, no advertisements, just we'll be right back. Alright guys, we are back. And it's time to get our armor back. And also to sell all the stuff that we've got that we don't need. This crag hack shield can go... These materials can go, which leaves us 94,000 gold on which to go to the alchemist and get some stuff. 
Do you know what? We're going all in. We're going all in on strength. So we'll buy four of those. We will etch them to give us even more power. So what's our current damage? Our current melee damage is 474. It's not going to be 474 for much longer. There we go. 486. An extra 12 melee damage. Which could be exactly what we need. Let's go to the castle. You return. It is done. Solemn Zerad is no more. We get some stuff for it. Magnifico shoulder guards, a ruby, a bright emerald, a chivalric chest plate, some gold and some experience. Alright. Verily, you are a hero. Regardless of what happens, your name will long be remembered here in Brandor. But there is one more task ahead of us. With Solemn Zerad vanquished, the way is clear for us to create a portal to the tomb of Antares. We will we will there to meet the villain Hikaos. Shall we ex what shall we expect when we step through the portal? Once we step through the portal, we will appear at the Tomb of Antares with all five pieces of the Grail. We will begin the Grail ritual, thus destroying it and returning Antares to his humanity. Then we must slay him once and for all. Are you prepared, warrior? Hold the portal a moment. I need to prepare for the final battle. Because we just got some stuff and I want to I want to sell it. Uh yeah, so some materials. Nice. That can give us an extra thing anyway. Chivalric chest plate. We can get rid of that. We can get rid of that as well. That's two more um, rune stones that we can get for that. So I will take that. And two more strength. I said we were going all in and we're going all in. Let's get three. Oh, no. Let's get. No, let's just get three of the fire as well. Etch all these. And then we'll be in for the final battle. The final battle with the undead emperor Antares. Alright. Here we go. 492 melee damage now. That's it. That, that should be enough. Let's go. Yes, I'm ready. Let's go through the portal and finish this. Stepping through the portal, you feel a strange disorientation as the world shifts in and out of focus. Moments later, you find yourself standing on in the ruins of a mighty cathedral square. Belgrave is waiting for you. From the gloom, he chaos steps forth also. The, scour the scourge of uh, Eden Garth nods to you, then turns to the Templar Knight, green eyes glinting. Belgrave, my old friend, it warms my heart to see you. I do not call you friend. Give me the grail piece and none of your trickery, warns Belgrave, still a stone. A tense moment passes and the two lords stare each other down, but finally he chaos grins. Casually, as if it were a piece of simple glass, he chaos flicks the grail piece to you. Reforge it, my dear friends. Let's return Antares to life. The three of you stand before the huge, oppressive tomb. Belgrave places the pieces before him and begins the chant. Piercing light shines from the tomb, and you must advert your eyes. As the grail pieces fuse together, a horrible chill goes down your spine. The heavy stone lid falls from the tomb, and the grail rises of its own accord. Its essence giving life to Antares, his face, usually shrouded in darkness, now a grinning skull. A great blast sends Heat, Chaos, and Belgrave flying across the room. Only you are left standing. The final battle begins. Oh yes, here we go! Tremble, mortal. With my soul fragments returned to me, my powers are restored. First Brandor, then, will fall. Then all of Tritonia. Now, Gladiator, rest forever. Emperor Antares, the Lich Lord Necromancer. It's time to fight Antares, and he has a higher power score than I am. Well, he's also got a lot of armor, jeez. But we do more damage. He's got a little bit more energy than we do. But we have more health. He's got magic as well, so it's going to be a tough one, maybe. Let's go. 
All right, Antares, bring it on. Oh, wow, and we can just smack you immediately in the face. He's going to use the Essence Shield. That's fine. Lightning Bolt. I resist that because of my lightning resistance. He's going to use Stupefy. That's fine. Essence Shield again. He hasn't attacked me yet. There's his first attack. It's a bit late, though. Here comes Barbarian Storm. That knocks us back a bit. Oh, I'm asleep. Then he casts a Fireball on me. All right, well, lob my weapon at you for 633 damage. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. We have the advantage now. It's not much of an advantage, but it is an advantage. Let's get close in and personal with him. 841. Followed by Barbarian Storm for another 1021. And another Barbarian Storm. And Taurus is going down fast. He keeps going down. He hasn't struck me. And that's bad for him. Bad news for him. He's down to possibly his last bit of health. But he is fighting back. It's over. He's gone. And conveniently, Barbarian Storm finishes it. The Emperor Antares is gone. We have heart over heart. Well, bloody hell. <laughs> three, three million gold for that. Shame we will never use it because, folks, that's the end. A brilliant flash of white fills the room as the portal opens beneath Antares. The great Lich Lord of Eldorhath falls and is dragged into the unnatural abyss, but his helmet teeters on the ground. Belgrave rises to his feet. Destroy the helmet! Let's end this once and for all! Hikaos stands also before you. This great helmet... This, this helmet holds great power within. Wear it and rule over all Brandor. Good and evil stand before you plead in their cases, but you know in your heart what you will do. For every action in this adventure has led to this point, every heroic deed, every despicable act watched. You pick up the helmet and... Betrayer of Brandor. You place Antares' helm on your head. As the helm molds and shrinks to fit, demonic energy surrounds and engulfs you. Dark thoughts course through your vein, and your black heart shrivels in your chest. You become the servant of malevolence. Your skin decays and falls from your body, and your eyes turn to bright red embers as the fragments of Antares' soul are transferred to you. Yep, the evil ending. We are an evil bastard after all. But Mad Dog Mohawk is now the betrayer and the ruler of Brandor. He rules everything. Belgrave rushes forward to attack, but you blast him with magical energy and he is thrown out from the tower window. Now join with me. He chaos extends his hand to you. Our legions will conquer this realm. Wordlessly, you clasp his hand, but... Do you, but do, you do not shake it. He chaos screams as the bones in his hand break. You kick him to the ground and step over him and leap out of the window after Belgrave. Saul's gateway erupts in fire as clouds of brilliant red and purple fill the sky. You ransack Castle Claymore and find riches beyond your wildest dreams. From every dungeon, monsters stream forth. The town is yours, and soon all of Brandor will be. Your new master is calling. Your evil actions will soon bring the malevolence to the world of Tritonia. But who will rise to stop you? That, of course, is a tale for another day. And that's it, folks. Swords and Sandals 5 Redux Grail of Antares. We were evil. Oh, yes. For killing all of those opponents and all of those acts, we were evil. And we got the evil ending. The ending where we rule over Brandor as an unholy tyrant that we are. Folks, I hope you've enjoyed Let's Play Swords and Sandals 5 Redux. I'm a Mastrath, and Mad Dog Mohawk, who will rise to stop him? Hmm. Well, I guess we'll find out in maybe another Swords and Sandals Let's Play. At the moment, when I'm recording this, only 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 of the main series has come out. Uh, with the news of in 2020 having Swords and Sandals 6 coming out, so when that comes out, yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably play it because I enjoy this series and you guys definitely enjoy this series, obviously. Um, it's like Swords and Sandals series is the most viewed series on this channel. 
Um, especially two and three. Uh, I don't know how four uh, was going to be, but it looks pretty good from the start. At the moment, I'm actually recording this on the day that Swords and Sandals 4 ends on the channel. And um, the final part went up today. So I'm not sure how that, or how good that, um, uh, that has gone. But it looks pretty good to me. You know, like sort of 100 views in a day for each one. So it's pretty good for this channel. Uh, but how am I going to play a Swords and Sandals game in the future? Well, if it's not going to be six, I may give Medieval or Crusaders a go. Or pirates, even. Uh, who knows? Uh, but for now, I'm going to be focusing on a lot of other different Let's Plays. But we will be back with some more Swords and Sandals Let's Plays. Probably in the near future. Well, the slightly distant future. Next year. Um, so I'm pro so I'm going to be doing what I usually do. And upload a Swords and Sandals Let's Play every year. Um, which I've been doing for the last couple of years. Uh, mostly because as much as you guys do enjoy the Swords and Sandals uh, Let's Plays that I do... I don't want to be typecast just playing them. Um, this channel's got more uh, than enough content and of uh, loads of different Let's Plays. Uh, and I do not wish to be typecast to play a certain game only. Uh, or a certain series only, even. Or even a certain type of game only. You know, I like to broaden my horizons, broaden the... Uh, sort of like the... The different genres that, uh, of Let's Plays that I've got, so... Yeah, so this will be the last we'll see of Swords and Sounds for the moment. Uh, but in the future, yes, we will be playing more. Anyway, I've been Mastraff, and I will see you for my next Let's Play in the future. And I hope you've enjoyed Swords and Sandals 5 Redux. I'll see you then.